Today we are going to talk about SQL Server internals or any major relational database system. Uh, there's a series of processes called worker threads that take whatever work is coming in, such as a query to query a table, work on it, you know, ask for memory, access disk, process the information, give you results. So today's topic is going to be about max degree of parallelism. So for my model of data, I'm going to use two liter Coke bottles, mainly because I have to crush these to fit them into my recycling container, but also just to give you a visual representation. So let's say I issue a select command and I only have one core, one virtual core on my machine. This is going to be the unit of work I do. So first of all, the query comes in, which maybe it accesses some table on the back side, and it needs to process that data, right? So first thing it does is it opens up access to the table, uh, to the underlying data. You know, make sure there's permissions there and all that stuff. Then it processes the data. And returns you the result. In this case, a flattened bottle. So that's called single threading. And if your server has multiple cores or processors um, and your query was... Um, not so burdensome, normally Microsoft SQL Server will start with just calculating whether it's worth it to do it with one core or with multiple cores, however many cores you have in your box. That's called max degree of parallelism. And there's this thing called cost threshold. So it does some math to figure out, well, should I go this way or, th or that way and see which one's going to be faster in the end to run, and then it runs it. So that's one flag. One level. The other level is if your machine only has one core, it'll always run with one. If it has multiple cores, it could run with one thread or with many threads. There's a server level setting called max degree of parallelism. And in that case, um, by default, it's zero, which means use all cores. Let's say I have a two core box in this case. Or if I set the server setting to do max DOP2, that means when the queries come in, It'll either do one or two if max degree of parallelism is two. So in this case, uh, the workload is select data from a table. It opens up access to it. And we run it in parallel. Noticeably, this operation is faster because I can use my feet to crush both at once. I still had to do some things, you know, single threaded, such as accessing the bottle caps, but that's an example. Now, what if we have a different workload? Um, let's say we have, it's a little different, looks like soda cans, right? Same idea though, right? Single thread, boom, done. Max DOP2, done, right? I got twice as much work done with that max DOP. Now that said, there becomes a limit at some point where um, if I try to do too many at once, there could be collisions. So let's say if I only had two cores, but I had two queries coming in and they both want to do max DOP too, how does that work? Well, let me do it this way. Because really, if I only have two cores, to do the work, which is, we'll just say, the span of my foot, for lack of a better term. One thread completes, then the next thread can complete. Okay? Internal to SQL Server, that's how that works. And I know the camera just moved. So, multi-threaded processing with George Walters in SQL Server by crushing cans. Have a good day.